Here's another addition of one of the many functions of the Pulsar. Uh, here we have the Pulsar plugged back into the fuse box and we're actually bypassing the relay uh, for the fan motor. Okay, so it's, this is a cooling fan to cool down the radiator when the car gets hot, right? Well, what's cool about the Pulsar is you can plug it into the fuse box or directly into a relay circuit and have full control over that circuit. In 12 volt systems, many times the circuit will draw over 10 amps. Most EVMs are going to blow a fuse at that rate. The Pulsar will read up to 50 amps, and this is a really good example of the tool really performing one of its main functions. So here what I've done is, I can show you here where I'm dialing in the power. I can set it as, as low as 1 amp and then go all the way up to 50 amps. It's a fan circuit. I just know from experience it shouldn't, it shouldn't really draw more than 30 amps. So I'm going to lock it in at 30 amps. And just by locking it, I can prevent any damage to the circuit. And I press this button, you'll see it's going to operate the fan. So here we go. Now, if you look back at the pulsar, you're going to see here that it's drawing a steady six amps. If I if I let go of the button, you're going to also see that the voltage in the system is 12 and a half. So that's a nice thing. So you don't need a DVM to see what the voltage is drawing. But again. A lot of fans, when you first start them up, you'll, you'll see true signs of the system breaking down. If there's a problem inside the fan motor, it's going to show up when you first power it. So here, I'm just, I'm just fluctuating the fan. I'm just trying to work it. I want to make sure that when my customer goes back out on the road, they're not going to just keep popping fuses. And the whole reason I'm looking at it is maybe because they did have a popped fuse, and I have to try to find out, is it a problem with the fan itself or maybe something within the circuit? So when I first press the power, again, you're going to see it start spiking up. If I really let the fan sit for a while, I'm letting the fan's inertia slow down so it comes to a stop. I'm going to power it up again. You can see it draws 16 in the beginning. If that was drawn maybe 30, 40 amps in the beginning, that's going to give me a good indication that I have a motor that's starting to go bad. Uh, so this is another addition of one of the many functions of the Pulsar.